There's nothing quite like the feeling of activating a command in SOLIDWORKS only to discover that the pop-up dialog that was supposed to appear has simply vanished into the ether. In some cases this means that SOLIDWORKS has just made a decision without your consent, while in other cases it can stop your progress entirely as SOLIDWORKS waits for you to respond to the invisible window. We're covering two possible reasons this is happening, and three ways to solve this behavior in this two minute tech tip. The first and most common way these pop-ups disappear is through the use of the Don't Show Again checkbox. This can be nice if you're an experienced user who's tired of confirming things like discarded changes to sketches and assembly rebuilds, but some pop-ups can have real consequences such as the non-matching internal ID pop-up for assembly components. If you've ever seen this one, it means something's gone wrong with your assembly, and if you choose not to show it again, SOLIDWORKS will decide what to do on your behalf without asking you. Because I did just that for this video, I was then able to replace the inner flange of this wheel hub assembly with a potato chip without a single warning, which is not ideal. If you've checked the Don't Show Again box for a message and you want to get it back, visit your system options and look for the category named Dismissed Messages just under the Messages, Errors, and Warnings category. Clicking the checkbox next to the message will restore it so it'll appear next time the action prompting it is performed. Reason number two for lost pop-ups is a little more confusing and has nothing to do with the messages being dismissed. In fact, what's typically happening in this situation is that the pop-ups are in fact popping up as far as the system is concerned, but they're popping up on a monitor that is no longer available. This can happen for basically any SOLIDWORKS window, and has happened to me personally a few times, usually occurring when I move a dialog box to a secondary monitor and confirm it, then turn off or disconnect the secondary monitor without moving the window back first. The most foolproof way to solve this issue is to simply reconnect the missing monitor, and the pop-up should be there waiting for you. That sounds easy enough, but what if you're on the road or you don't have access to the secondary monitor anymore? Fortunately, there is another solution as well, and it's very easy to try, but full disclosure, this may not work for everyone. Some of you may be aware of a keyboard shortcut for Windows that allows you to snap your active window to different areas of the screen. For the uninitiated, holding the Windows key down and then pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard will move whichever window is currently active in the direction of the arrow key being pressed. This does, however, require you to be certain that the pop-up window in question is actually active. In this example, I've just clicked on the Options button, so I know that it should be active even though I can't see it. Without clicking into any other programs, I'll hold the Windows key down and then press the left arrow key several times, and just like magic, the window returns. If that hadn't worked, I would have tried using the right arrow key instead. If this video saved your skin, give it a like so others can see it too, and subscribe to the channel for more CAD tips and tricks every week. If you want to become a certified CAD master, make sure to visit the Solid Professor website for full-length courses on all sorts of CAD platforms, along with CAM, simulation, 3D printing, and just about everything else. Thanks for watching.